is happening here? Just trying to see how much syrup it takes to fill up Luke. <laughs> We're at two bottles and counting. You know what happens when Luke has too much sugar. It's okay, I feel fine. In fact, I feel better than fine. I feel amazing. Hey, anyone else feel like running a marathon? No, just me. <laughs> Please tell me you'll be more responsible than this tomorrow night. Do you mean before or after I attempt to beat the downhill shopping cart speed record? You and Luke are babysitting Lori while your dad and I have a night out. We've been planning this for months. Oh, right. I just assumed you meant Luke. He's the responsible one. Jumping jacks are super fun. I don't know why I don't do them more often. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt so alive. And I'm crashing. <laughs> the boys got into the syrup again. Really? Well, how much of it did Luke get down this time? Two bottles. Good. My record is still safe. Can you believe they didn't remember about our date night tomorrow? <laughs> what is wrong with those kids? So, what do you have planned? It is a surprise. Oh. For both of us. Chelsea, you're here early. Is something I never thought I would say. <laughs> I'm just putting up some posters for a pop-up party I'm throwing tonight. Isn't that a little short notice? That's what a pop-up party is. It's more of a young person thing. That's probably why you've never heard of it. <laughs> of course I've heard of it. I'm the party queen. But just so I can be sure you know what it is, why don't you explain it? It's a spontaneous party that you throw together at the last minute. The kind of thing that young people like to do. Obviously, young people like us. In fact, I was considering throwing my own pop-up party tonight. But that would just make your party seem small and insignificant by comparison. <laughs> Care to make this interesting? You have the party queen's attention. We both throw a party tonight. And whoever has the biggest and most successful party will be officially crowned the party queen. The party queen accepts your wager. <laughs> and just so we're clear, I'm talking about me. I'm the party queen. Hey, guys. I was just looking for you. I'm throwing a party at the Brock tonight. I hope you guys can make it. I even booked a DJ. Maybe you've heard of him. DJ Feline Good. He's got a whole cat theme going on. So he only plays songs about cats? No, he just wears a cat mask and chases after laser pointers. That sounds cool. We'll be there. With bells on. No bells. That totally freaks out the DJ. <laughs> See you there. You do realize we're supposed to be babysitting Lori tonight? Yeah. Just checking. <laughs> Lisa, see you at the staff party tonight. What staff party? Didn't you see the flyers? They're very clearly posted. Sorry, but Lane and I have a big date planned tonight. This is the perfect date night. It'll be a romantic, elegant evening filled with stimulating adult conversation. Unless you don't want that, in which case it'll be something completely different. Sorry, but Lane has something really special in mind. He's been planning this for months. Hey, gorgeous. Mm. Ready for a night to remember? Oh, I got us a prime table right next to the mechanical bull at Cowboy Al's all-you-can-eat sushi buffet. <laughs> Change of plans. We're coming to the staff party. What? Uh, but I just made last-minute dinner reservations. Two months ago. <laughs> Now remember, don't let the boys out of your sight. And do your best to make them feel like they're in charge. You mean like how you do with Dad? <laughs> That's my girl. Man, I love this tie. Don't you prefer the blue one? I do prefer the blue one. <laughs> That's my girl. Are you guys still here? Go on, get out of here. Enjoy your night. Yeah, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Larry and I will be here the whole time. Okay, we're leaving now. Be good. Bye. Bye. Great call on the blue tie, Lane.
Okay, so you remember the plan? We'll each take turns sneaking out to Chelsea's party. Make sure you set your phone alarm. We'll switch out every 30 minutes. Done. You're up first. I'll sneak out the back door. Bye, Lori. <laughs> Are you going somewhere? What? No, you're crazy. See ya. <laughs> you're supposed to both be babysitting. Where's Luke going? Nowhere. He's clearly just initiating a game of hide and seek. I'll count. One, two. Did Luke just go out the back door? That's really more of a Luke question. So, when does this pop up party of yours start popping? Someone took down all my posters. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Is it hot out here? Or is it just me? <laughs> it's not actually hot. I'm just using your posters to fan myself for dramatic effect. <laughs> you don't scare me. Thanks to my DJ, I think I have this all locked up. Oh, you mean DJ Feline Good? Yeah, he's DJing my party now. That's the thing about cats. No loyalty. <laughs> Impressive, but the night is young. We'll see whose party takes the cake. That reminds me, I also took your cake. Hey, Chelsea. Nice rager. Are you kidding? There's no music, there's no people, there's no cake. I'm in big trouble here. But think of the easy cleanup. Wait, what is that? Oh, just a box of old records I'm throwing out. I don't need them now that I've upgraded to cassettes. Nice rager. Luke, I'm so glad you made it. This is gonna be a great night. I hope it never ends. Whoops, time's up, gotta go. You're leaving already? What? No, you're crazy. See ya. Here we are. Our first kid-free night in ages. <laughs> oh no. This was a mistake. With the red tie. I can't find Luke. I checked all the cupboards, between the couch cushions, and under the carpets. I even checked between the pages of every book. All I found was this flattened burrito. My bookmark burrito. Aw, now you lost my page. Luke's not even here, is he? Uh, of course he is. I'll go get him. Luke? Hey, Lori, it's me, your animated brother, Luke. <laughs> Boy, I sure am stretchy. I'm calling Mom. No, wait. Huh. You finally found me, here, where I've been hiding the entire time. Both of you sit on that couch and don't move until Mom and Dad get home. I would, but I think this bookmark has other plans for me. <laughs> I'll be in the bathroom for the next, oh, say, 29 to 30 minutes. <laughs> I feel ridiculous. <laughs> Got some tangy fruit punch. <laughs> Pam? You didn't mention that people would be bringing their kids to this party. In fact, I believe you used the words romantic and elegant. I use a lot of words. I can't be held accountable for all of them. At least that's what my lawyer says. We're leaving. Come on, let's go hit that buffet table. Yes, mechanical bull, here we come. Attention all artists! <laughs> the arts and crafts competition will begin in five minutes. Looks like that pulled pork sashimi will have to wait. Hold this. I don't want to get glitter on it. 
Everyone just hang in there. I've got music on the way. This is gonna be the best party ever. Larry, this is gonna be the worst party ever. I need your help. Just let me catch my breath. I just sprinted seven blocks. I was hoping you could dance with me to help get the party started, but if breathing's more important to you... Who needs air? Let's dance. <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Grandmaster Dupe in the house, y'all. Who's ready to get crazy? <laughs> oh, hold on, I wouldn't want to scratch this. to this what are you talking about you just have to surrender yourself to the beat uh, we're losing them play something else uh, this one's a little more up tempo i could dance to this all night the rhythm just carries you away Pipe cleaners down. <laughs> okay, the scores have been tallied. We have a four way tie for first place. <laughs> At least you have second place all to yourself. Pasta based crafts were never my strong suit. <laughs> I never should have boiled the macaroni first. It's been half an hour. No human should require that long in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm going to check on him. All clear? Cutting it a bit close, aren't you? Maybe we should have given ourselves more than 30 minutes, since it takes 12 minutes just to get there. <laughs> Speaking of which, I better get going. I'm already on the clock. By the way, Lori's getting suspicious. Be prepared to take it up a notch. Larry? Huh? There you are. I thought you were in the bathroom. Shh, you'll wake Luke. Poor little guy was all tuckered out. I only left the room for a minute. How did he fall asleep so fast? That's more of a Luke question. You gotta chop, 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 chop those carrots. Aw, oh, too slow. Guess you didn't want it bad enough. And we're down to the last three. When will the music stop? Now? How about now? Or maybe now? Well, not now. Sorry, Grandpa. This seat's taken. <laughs> What just happened? I guess you didn't want it bad enough. Oh, that's not true. You know how bad I wanted it. <laughs> Last round, it's still anybody's game. Well, not anybody's. Notice how small this trophy is. I assumed I would be presenting it to a child. Yeah! yeah! Oh, we did it! This is a disaster.
get the cardboard. moves. I get that a lot. <laughs> that looks really uncomfortable. <laughs> I get that a lot, too. How long has he been sleeping? 47 minutes, 15 seconds and counting. <laughs> Hello? It's Chelsea. Luke's in trouble. I have to take this. It's a, a wrong number. <laughs> what scenario are we looking at? Flattened, stretched, twisted? <laughs> All of the above. You went full pretzel? I'd come back to the party, but I can't leave Lori alone. I can send Dupe over. This is good stuff. But I hope we didn't peak too early. Please let me send Dupe over. Okay, but hurry. <gasps> Sneaking out to a party, huh? Uh, please don't tell Mom and Dad. On one condition, you take me with you. <sighs> Fine. Luke, we'll be back soon. I already checked. It's just a pile of pillows. Right. I've been living the lie so long, I started to believe it. Oh, good, you're here. I thought you were leaving your sister at home. And I thought this was supposed to be a party. <laughs> Looks like we're both wrong. Dupe's on his way to your house. Don't worry about that. We've got a bigger mess to untangle. That's where I come in. Small hands, perfect for big knots. <laughs> Lead me to Pretzel Boy. So glad you can make it. I need your help so bad right now. Push that chip bowl a little closer. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Look who I brought. We're way past small hands. <laughs> We're gonna need baking grease. And lots of it. The winner is Lisa Stanley. I'm sure she's very proud of herself. Wow. Oh, I was not expecting this. <laughs> There's so many people who made this possible. I would, for the last time, no victory speeches. Now this is a party. You should take notes. Was the tablecloth really necessary? We want to bring as little attention to the situation as possible. What situation? There's a situation? Oh, I'm the situation. Shh, quiet. Larry? Huh? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be babysitting your sister. He is. See? At home. We are. Don't you recognize your own house? Yeah, that was never going to work. I don't know what you're doing here, but I am very disappointed in both of you. Is that Luke under there? That's really more of a Luke question. Wait, why are you here? Uh, yeah, you told us you were spending a romantic night together. You have a strange definition of romantic. That was very clever of you, sending in the Stanleys to ruin my party. I didn't expect my plan to work so well. <laughs> Well played. Looks like my reign as party queen has come to an end. At least I still have my youth. <laughs> <laughs> Who says there can't be two party queens? Spoken like a true party queen. Now how about we go share some of that cake I stole from you? Lead the way, your majesty. I'm gonna get those back, right? <laughs> Look, we're all here now, so let's just forget this happened and enjoy the party as a family. Sounds great. I'm in. Me too. 
Oh, wait, I'm not here. Forget it. Great, let's have some fun. Hmm. Or we could just go. like that, but it came at a price. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> Best date night ever. Gross! <laughs> it's not fair that Luke and Larry got to stay at the party and I didn't. Go brush your teeth, DJ Small Hands. <laughs> what is that? That's just a pile of pillows. <gasps> oh. oh, hi. Out a little late, don't you think?